Perry L. Brinstad, 70, passed away Saturday evening at a local hospital after a brief illness. He is survived by two brothers and one sister. Funeral services will be held Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock at the Dahl Funeral Home. Internment will be made in the Campbell Cemetery. Campbell Cemetery opened as a public cemetery in the 1860s for residents of the town of Campbell. As North Cross grew and railroads laid down tracks in the late 1800s, the cemetery became geographically separated from the town of Campbell. Over time, more North Cross residents were buried there than town of Campbell residents. So as such, management of the cemetery was turned over to the city of La Crosse in 1932. Not too much is known about Perry Brinstad. Newspaper reports upon his death in 1932 noted that he was a farmer in the area. He had been living in the Globe Hotel, which was probably more like a boarding house, and had no immediate family. Brinstead died in early September of 1932 at the age of 70. He was buried in a family plot in Campbell Cemetery on La Crosse's north side. Two days after Brinstead was buried, the Campbell Cemetery caretaker found quite a lot of loose dirt scattered around the burial mound. Taking pride in his work, that probably would have been unusual, so the caretaker was confident the grave had been tampered with. The disturbance of the plot was suspicious enough that the family was notified and the grave was exhumed. It was confirmed that Brinstead's body was indeed missing. The coffin had been placed inside what they call a rough box, which was standard procedure. Half of the coffin lid was found outside that rough box as they were digging. Once they got to the rough box, half of its lid had been broken off as well and put back in place after the fact. Investigating officials ascertained that in this way, the grave robbers were able to remove the body from the casket inside the box without actually taking the box or the casket out of the grave. Newspapers around the state, including those of Madison, Oshkosh, Racine, and even Winona, Minnesota, carried this story. The headline was, Corpse Stolen from Campbell Cemetery Grave on September 30th. It must have been quite a shock to most lacrosse people to have read that in the morning's paper. The grave robbery was thought to have occurred on September 24th, a Sunday, as witnesses reported seeing a vehicle in the cemetery in the early hours of 2 to 4.30. To the west of the cemetery were the busy and noisy yards of the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroad, which also reduced visibility into the cemetery. So the two main motives police detectives postulated were that either the body was stolen for medical experiments or perhaps the theft was to bilk an insurance company by faking another man's death by arson. The newspaper noted that Brinstead was a family that didn't have any riches at all, so the possibility of a ransom attempt was denied. Since Brinstead had no immediate family, perhaps the thieves thought his grave would not be visited by grieving relatives and a disturbance would go unnoticed. The mutilated body was found several days later after police let the media report the story. The thieves knew then that the police and community had knowledge of the crime and hastily wrapped the remains up in some canvas bags and left them on Pettyboat Island to rid themselves of the evidence. Captain Herman Rick was notified by Glenn Clements that a body was lying in a clump of willows on Pettyboat Island below the municipal tourist camp. Clements was searching for wild grapes when he stumbled across a canvas bundle tied with binder twine. Clements said he cut open a section of the canvas, finding burlap sacks inside. He detected a head of a human being in one of the sacks. Captain Rick ordered the body removed to the morgue of Coroner Raymond Dwyer, where the discovery of the mutilations was made. When the body was found, it was discovered that the legs had been separated from the torso and there were numerous incisions. A doctor believed that the cuts were consistent with someone who had medical training. The remains were reinterred in the Brinstead Grave in Campbell Cemetery after identification. Dissection of human bodies was a key component of medical education before synthetic options became available. However, there was no medical college in La Crosse, only nursing training schools. Perhaps the culprits were medical students from elsewhere or were dropouts. This story remains an unsolved mystery. No one was ever taken into custody or charged with any crime. In the 1990s, a paranormal investigative group came to the archives in the library one evening looking for information on Campbell Cemetery. While reading newspaper articles, the group discovered this story of the grave robbery and mutilation of Perry Brinstead, and the group became very excited. Having just come from the cemetery conducting sound recordings, they reported they discerned a voice shouting, They've got me up. They've got me up. 
Could it be the voice of Perry Brinstead? I can't confirm that.